Hello, howdy, and welcome back to Twangmeister Studios. I'm Dan Wesley, and this is the final, final part in our series, Mixing a Country Song, brought to you by Mixed by the Twangmeister. Now, you may remember at the start of the last episode, I said that that was going to be the final part, but then after the fact, I realised that an hour and a half might be a little bit long for one video, so I chopped it in half. So, where are we? At the end of the last video, you will probably remember, we had just done automation rides on the faders for the Dobro electric guitar, piano and fiddle. So, that's where we're up to, so let us now carry on where we left off. So, I already know <coughs> from doing that, that I've got the general levels right where we want, but that I know that I've missed a few bits of, uh, particularly the piano, I feel, in the chorus. He did some nice rhythmic things that maybe I didn't bring out enough with what I just did then. So let's have a look at our automation um, right here. We're going to... Uh, turn off these two buttons okay so we're not writing anymore we are just reading uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close these lanes because you can see that uh, the envelopes actually uh, can show up on the buses themselves if you look here <coughs> at our buses because I didn't have the lanes open when I recorded then they're already there. But on these ones, you're seeing that this is showing note information. Now, obviously, there's no note information because this is the bus. So instead, we want to show the uh, the volume. So the bus, oops, let me come again. The bus output volume, uh, which is that one there. And same again, bus output volume. So we can see and indeed edit from here if we need to. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and listen critically to what I've just done and spot areas where, yeah, I needed to lift that a little bit more. Or, if I feel that I did it a bit too much and something's climbing over the vocal, then obviously we're going to do that. But I'll tell you what we'll do next, because another part of this process is we've got some tidying up to do. As you can tell, uh, this could have been done at the beginning, didn't really matter. Um, it's nice to hear this uh, messing about here, and then of course at the end... The electric guitar and the fiddle decided to have a little play around there. So we need to do a little bit of top and tailing, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, let's see as we're here. Let's start off with the piano, shall we? So we're going to get rid of everything before that point and do a little fade there. And we don't need this. In fact, we don't need anything, do we? Up before this point, before he starts playing properly. There. The electric guitars, if we have a listen to those. Yeah, they're not contributing a lot of noise there, but we're still going to tidy them up. Let's listen to the drums on their own. Now then, I feel like I quite like this, the drummer giving us the count in there, and I want to keep that. So, we're going to just get rid of before that point. So the question I ask myself, do I want those first hi-hat hits or do I just want to start it when he says one? He says one on the second hi-hat hit. But what I think I'll do is we'll, we'll keep the first one. So let's uh, get our hat and overhead mics and Let's not start before that point. Same here with our, actually the toms are already muted at that point in the song. Uh, we have our snare and obviously our kick tracks. Now the kick doesn't actually start until later on. I could keep him in at the same point it would change the sound slightly 
for better or worse, who knows, but let's have a listen. So at the moment we are now have, as this is our starting point, and I'm happy with that. Okay, now most of the instruments, as you can see, play pretty much all the way through the song, uh, with the obvious exceptions of the fiddle and the dobro. So let's just uh, clean those up, because when the dobro is not playing, you know, that, that's not going to be con contributing great amount of noise, is it? But uh, we'll get right there. It's always nice to tidy these things up. Now you see there's a little accidental thing that he did there, which we don't want. So I'm going to cut it at that point and just do a little bit of a fade. Okay. So that now, the end of that now sounds like... Okay. Let's not make the fade quite so abrupt. Yeah, because we were in, uh, introducing a fade where we didn't want one there. Uh, then of course we come to here where he stops playing again. And we're going to do the same with our fiddle. Now you can already see from this waveform that we've got uh, some noise going on here when he's not playing. Lots of spill. So let's just get rid of it. He stops playing at this point. And you can hear him breathing. Uh, no, that's not allowed. I don't know why we allowed him to breathe. Okay, let's get rid of that. I know it seems a shame to get rid of that, but we are going to, of course. Sorry, mate. Off you go. Okay, we'll just fade that there. Um, and while we're at it, let's... Uh, we've topped. Let us tail everything else. The end of the piano. Yes, yourself. Okay, so all together, the ending. Okay. Happy with that. Okay. We didn't look at the vocals, did we? Because I think they're all fine. Pretty sure they've all been topped and tailed. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now before I go in and tweak the automation that I've just done, um, I just want to, I feel the acoustic guitar needs a little bit of help. Have a listen. I like the way she looked, like butter wood and At the moment, I feel it's a little bit small. Remember what I said about uh, we made the electric guitar bigger? I feel like, uh, in comparison, the acoustic guitar is uh, a little small, so I'm going to... We're going to give it a little bit of help, so let's go back over here to our track section, find our acoustic guitars right here, and so we'll play. Mouth in her mouth. Now six months down the line, she's messing with my mind, and causing me to have my doubts. Somebody stop me. And 
we're also going to bring it to forward, I think. With a bit of compression. Drags me to that fancy restaurant. I'm gonna order my oyster southern fries. Somebody stop me. Oh, I okay, I feel we're in a better place there with that. And like I mentioned early on in the process, it's quite normal to go and tweak things that you've tweaked earlier on in the process because when we first played around with the acoustic guitar, we only had a drum and bass in, didn't we? So this is normal, and I know I'm going to have to just play around with the drums in a moment. But let's get back to the job in hand, which is tweaking our automation. So what we're going to do is we're going to listen through and listen for places in each of those four instruments that we've just automated where maybe I didn't quite get it right on the automation, maybe I just need to be a little bit louder, or vice versa. And let's have a listen, and then we shall tweak. Here we go. happy with that first note from the fiddle but then I felt that the second one uh, was a little bit lost so have a listen again because you can see there that it's actually a considerably smaller uh, waveform so it's a quieter note <laughs> Amazing the difference there. So let's just go, what I'm going to do, this is the sort of thing that is quite normal, so we'll see what we do here. Now this is the place that I want to make this note a bit louder, so in our, our little automation here, I am going to add a little node there, and at the end of the process, basically, probably just move this section up a little. So listen. <laughs> Sitting there, I like the way she looked Like butter wouldn't melt in her mouth Now six months down the line She's messing with my mind And causing me to have my doubts Somebody stop me Just a little dobro bit there that I want to bring out. Wood for the trees. I don't want no sim. It's from there. Okay, I'll add a node to there. I'm just going to bring this up. I couldn't see the wood for the trees. Little bit of a lift 
bit more on the fiddle part there. So basically uh, from here to here. So let's grab all of those. Just want to give it just a touch more, not a lot. We don't want to overdo this. There's only so much that a man can take. The only thing that hasn't changed is my pride. Now, next time she drags me to that fancy restaurant. I'm gonna order my oyster southern fried. So listening overall to this second verse and the piano, which of course is doing all its uh, major uh, business here, I probably want to give it just a little bit more overall and then it sounds like there's a touch right at the end that needs a little help. So this is uh, that section. Just raise the piano just a tad, tad. Let's have a listen now. There's only so much that a man can take. The only thing that hasn't changed is my pride. Now next time she drags me to that fancy restaurant, I'm gonna order my oyster southern fries. One little bit here. Order my oyster southern fry. Because I do really like that bit where he goes. And that was just the one phrase that I felt wasn't quite uh, making it through. So let's grab here. Just a little less. Okay. That fancy restaurant. I'm gonna order my oyster southern fries. Somebody stop me. Oh, what have I done? I couldn't see the wood for the tree. Now, in these choruses, we're hearing the electric guitar doing these nice bits and the piano is just banging out a rhythm. But he's not just banging out a standard bang, bang rhythm. He's doing some nice uh, little bits. Just have a listen to this with the piano on its own. And I just want to bring it out. So this is, this is nice playing and I don't quite think we are getting it. Now if I push it too much, there may be too much mush, it may be that something has to make way for it if I feel that it needs to stand out just at one point or other. Oh, what have I... Somebody stop me, oh, what have I done? I couldn't... So he's doing it there, but that's at the same time as the guitar is going... So I'm not going to push him there, but after the guitar's done that, the guitar rests, the, the next time the piano does that little thing, I think we're going to lift him there. Oh, what have I done? I couldn't see the wood for the trees. Okay, so this little bit here. Let's have a listen to it again in solo. Uh, piano, thank you very much. Okay, so just that line I want to just bring out because the, the guitar rests there and that is a great chance for the piano to shine a little more. Da -da 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 -da, up to there. And so we're going to raise just that. Raise the phrase because it's the phrase that pays. Here we go. Is that what we want? Somebody stop me. Yes, and if you listen at the beginning, because it's, it's almost like you could have a bit of to and fro between the piano and the guitar here, because uh, the first time you could have the piano, because the guitar does it on the second one, and the fourth. So if we emphasise the first and the third sections for the piano, and we can have a little back and forth between those two instruments. Somebody 
stop me. Oh, I... So that on the piano is from here to here. Let's just lift him a bit. And then what I'm going to do at the same point is I'm just going to duck the guitar a bit to make way so that we can hear the piano there. We don't want it, it to be obvious that, oh, hang on a minute, the guitar's gone down there a bit. We just want a little subtle uh, to and fro. And so at the same point where I've raised the piano here, I'm just going to duck the electric guitar just a little bit. <coughs> Let's have a listen. Somebody stop me, oh, what have I done? I couldn't see the wood for the trees. I don't want no sympathy, it's all my fault. But somebody stop me, please. So, I mean, you can turn things up that you're not hearing, but you can often not get what you want because there's still other instruments in that area stepping on each other's toes so it's a little bit of give and take the second half of the verse I think we feel we need to hear the, hear the dobro a little bit more second half of the chorus is what I meant I don't want no sympathy it's all my fault but somebody stop So that last last little was was loud enough, but I'm gonna just increase the dobro on this second half of the chorus and see if we're not getting ourselves into trouble. I don't want no sympathy, it's all my fault. But somebody stop. It's a little bit there that I really like the sound of, and we're not quite getting it. If we have a listen to it, it's this bit. And I just feel like I maybe want a little bit more just on there. Let's try it. I don't want no sympathy, it's all my fault. But somebody stop me. This repeat chorus at the end, we need the fiddle to shine. So, at the moment, I feel he's just being a little bit buried, and it might be that I just duck other things rather than turning him up. Although there may be a bit of each. Let's just listen to what this uh, second uh, or third chorus, should I say, sounds like. So, listening in particular to the fiddle. Somebody stop me. Oh, what have I done? See the wood for the trees. I don't want... Okay, so these second two fiddle phrases I feel are fine, but I don't think we really hear the first one as much as we should. And then you'll see if you look down here, so this is where it starts. You look down here on the automation track, I didn't turn it up quick enough when I was uh, riding it, so it might simply just be a case of, uh, of lifting these. Because I don't think we've got the beginning of the phrase. Let's see if that's all we need to do. Somebody stop me. Oh, what have I done? Okay, let's give it a bit more help here. Somebody stop me. Oh, what have I done? The same point. I'm going to just slightly drop the piano, just a tad, and That bit there is that nice little piano phrase that I want to hear again. So let's uh, do, 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 that one. Let's bring that back in because it's between the fiddle lines. Let's have a listen. Somebody stop me. Oh, what have I done? I couldn't see the wood for the trees. I don't want no sympathy. Somebody stop me, please. Somebody. On 
the electric guitar, that final was fine, but the bit before that we weren't quite getting, I don't think. Somebody stop me, please. Somebody. So it's this bit from here to here. Because the bit that followed it I thought was fine. So let's just raise up this part of the electric guitar. Have a listen. Somebody stop me, please. Somebody stop me, please. Yeah, see, these little touches make all the difference because they bring out those little things that make the track special. Now, the only thing I want to look at at the end here is the fiddle. He's quite quiet in this little ending. See if we want any of these notes to be louder. Uh, all he's doing is just uh, a bit of this. So you can hear, it's almost like he's slightly fumbling around for the notes there, but he's hitting the right ones, uh, and how do we want to hear them better than we are doing? Somebody stop me, please. So as you can hear, or should I say not hear, we are not hearing that particular fiddle note at all. So let's just see if we bring it up, if we like the fact that we can hear it more. very difficult to hear there and we've turned it up almost all the way so let's have a listen to the end yeah we definitely need all this fiddle part up First note, not quite so much. Just a little bit less. Yeah. Okay, so in terms of my automation tweaks, I think uh, that we've got what we want there. Okay, so let's say that that's done now, and let's come back and have a look at our final balance, because uh, we certainly need to have a little work on this. Let's go back to uh, viewing our buses. From the top, tell me if you, see if you notice what... Uh, is fairly obvious to me, it probably has been to you for a while. Have a listen. I'm talking about the drums. Just that's a clue. When I first saw her sitting there, I liked the way she looked. And this is uh, totally normal for this stage of the mix process, this final bit. I've been spending a lot of time lately concentrating on all these uh, melodic instruments, making them all sound great, making them sound nice and balanced and loud as at the right points uh, compared to the vocal. And in working on all this, you kind of take your eye off the drums. So at the end of the process, I feel like the drums are too quiet now. So 
this is where my complex routing comes in. Because if I think that the drums are as loud as I want them to be, but they're not as loud as, as they should be in the mix, that means I need to bring the other things down. If I wanted to then start uh, grabbing my uh, buses of my other instruments and bring them down, I'm starting to get into deep water because I've written automation. And if I start pulling down faders that have got automation on them, uh, as soon as I let go, it's going to go back up again and I'm going to be fighting with the work I've already done. Which is why we have these extra buses here. Because if I feel that in comparison to the drums, I want, say, all the instruments to come down a bit, I have a fader here exactly for that process. And I can also independently control the level of my vocals. So what I'm going to do is I know that I want my drums to sound a bit, little bit better. I'm going to do an overall little bit of uh, um, checking first of all on our drum bus that everything is working as it should. I'm going to open up our compressor here. Uh, let me just have a listen to the drums on their own. And in the mix. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit more work on this. I'm going to I'm going to tweak this. I'm going to go here. Let's have a look. Six months down the line, she's messing with my mind, and causing me to have. feel like I want a little bit more top and bottom from these drums so let's bring in our Poltec P-U-L-T spells Ooh, um, and stick it in front of the compressor actually and we'll just uh, give a little uh, boost um, at the top and bottom end smiley face if you like for our drums Okay, so a little tweak there on the drum bus, and now, very simply, to get our balance right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down our, if you look over here, our band fader. Can you remember the band fader? It's the one that has all the musical instruments except the drums, and no vocals. Um, I'm going to pull it down, and then have a listen to the balance of my vocals with the drums, and see how that sounds. So first of all, let's pull down our band and let's have uh, see if our vocals are where they want to be loved like butter wouldn't mount in her mouth 
Now six months down the line She's messing with my mind And causing me to have my doubts Somebody stop me Oh, what have I done? I couldn't see the wood for the trees I don't want no sympathy That fancy restaurant I'm gonna order my oyster southern fries Somebody stop me Oh, what have I done? I couldn't see the wood for the trees I don't want no sympathy It's all my fault But somebody stop me Okay, what I'm doing is, is little tiny tweaks on these uh, the ba relative balances of these faders, both um, the band, uh, the musical, which is the band and the vocal, maybe tweaking the vocal if necessary, and the uh, parallel compression we have on all of this stuff uh, to get the right balance of sound that we want compared to the drums, so that they're not overpowering the drums, the drums are in the right place, um, everything's sounding as we want. As you uh, will have spotted, I am not touching these faders. Oh, no, 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 because they are full of automation. Uh, we are doing our final balances over here. There's only so much that a man can take. The only thing that hasn't changed is my pride. Now, next time she drags me to that fancy restaurant, I'm gonna order my oyster southern fries Somebody stop me, oh what have I done I couldn't see the wood for the trees I don't want no sympathy, it's all my fault Don't want no sympathy 
and a verse saw her sitting there I liked the way she looked Like butter wood and mail in her mouth Now six months down the line She's messing with my mind And causing me to have Okay, generally reasonably happy. What I'm going to listen finally to is the effects levels on the vocals, both vocals and backing vocals. I don't want no sympathy, it's all my fault, but somebody stop me, please. Somebody. Okay, I feel like the backing vocals have far too much effect on them, so all I'm going to do is turn down the. Uh, the effects channel on the backing vocals. Let's go back and uh, listen again. I don't want no sympathy, it's all my fault, but somebody stop me, please. Somebody stop me, oh, what have I done? I couldn't see the wood. Once again, it's just a little balances, balancing act that we're tweaking. Um, let me have a look at this again, the single harmony at this point. Right. Now next time she drags me to that fancy restaurant, I'm gonna order my oyster southern fried. Somebody stop me. Okay, that's better. Um, my feeling is, is the lead vocal a little bit too wet? There's only so much that a man can take. The only thing that hasn't changed is my pride. Now next time she drags me to that fancy restaurant, I'm gonna Order my oyster southern fried. Okay, so I've just uh, taken down a little uh, the long delay and the reverb, just a tiny touch on the lead vocal. The final thing is the balance of our uh, single harmony vocal. If you look here, we have um, our two harmony vocals which sing in the choruses, one slightly left, one slightly right. Uh, if we zoom in here, you can see exactly uh, they are 40% left and 40% right. But when we have just one harmony singing, which we do here in the second half of the second verse, it seems a bit weird to have him slightly over to the left when there's nothing balancing him over on the right. So for that point, I'm going to stick him in the middle. Uh, I could create his own track, stick that part of the vocal on there, and stick it in the middle, that's one uh, way of doing it, or I could automate the pan, which is what I'm going to do. As you can see, when I originally sung these vocals, I sung this particular part from here all the way through to the end, um, So rather than singing it on a separate track. So all we have to do here is open our automation lane, like so, let's just uh, make it a little bigger, and instead of the volume, we want the pan. So you can see here we have our 40% left starting point. So it's just this point, these uh, couple of phrases here. So all we have to do is create a couple of doodars here because he's going to go back to his 40%. Um, he's going to go back to his 40% 40 40 left when the chorus starts. So just for this one piece, we're going to bring him back down to the middle, uh, which is, ooh, it's a little bit too far, 1% there. Okay. So now that single harmony will sound like it's in the center nicely tucked in behind the lead vocal. Let's have a listen. 
Change is my pride Now next time she drags me To that fancy restaurant I'm gonna order my oyster southern fried Somebody stop me Oh, what have I done? And you know what? I will take him down a little bit uh, at that point So let's just change this uh, oh, we don't need to change it. We could, we could add one, couldn't we? We could add an automation lane this time for the volume, and just for that very same uh, period, we're gonna just turn him down a little bit because he's a little bit louder than I would want him to be. He's almost the same level as the lead vocal, and I want it to be a, a harmony. Just tucked in behind. Let's have a listen. Change is my pride. Now next time she drags me to that fancy restaurant I'm gonna order my oyster southern fried Somebody stop me Fancy restaurant I'm gonna order my oyster And I'm just gonna make a little production decision here And I'm gonna say I don't want the harmony to sing that particular I'm gonna so I'm just gonna uh, mute that particular bit and let David sing that particular bit on his own so it now sounds like now next time she drags me to that fancy restaurant I'm gonna order my oyster southern fried so Okay, right, I do think for the purposes of this video, we are pretty much done. You'll notice um, I haven't done a lot in the terms of the uh, analysing, getting all my levels up, because that's for the uh, mastering stage. I've got things right where I want them. Just bring out all our uh, master uh, tracks again. Just grab this, pull it out, so we're looking at all our masters. Um... I did say we'd have a little listen in mono, wouldn't we? So let's uh, go back to the beginning and let's hit our mono button see what it sounds like. Checking the balance of everything. When I first saw her sitting there I liked the way she looked Like butter wouldn't melt in her mouth That's what's down the line She's, she's, <laughs> she's messing with my mind And causing me to have my doubts Somebody stop me Happy with the blend of that and the blend of the vocals and everything sounds all fine. I don't want no sympathy, it's all my that I feel is ready to be mastered. So you have seen me mix a song from start to finish um, all the way through uh, for David Broadley. Uh, the album was what's well, called is called. Ea Terror, which is the, I think it's a Maori word for New Zealand, something like that. It's, anyway, David writes a song on the album all about his homeland, and it's called Ea Terror. Ea Terror. I'm butchering the word, of course, because I'm not native to that part of the world. Um, so if you fancied getting hold of uh, these songs, like I say, this is a song written by Steve Blythe, a friend of mine who plays guitar here every so often, and there are four of his songs on this particular album. Okay, so if I was mixing this uh, for real, rather than for the purposes of this video, then I would probably go and do a little more tweaking. Uh, for example, I'm not necessarily happy with the snare at the moment. I feel it's a little bit inconsistent in level. Uh, I'd probably do a bit more tweaking there. Uh, another couple of things here and there. However, I feel that you've probably been here long enough now. You're no doubt ready for a cup of tea. And uh, so we ought to uh, end it there. What do you reckon? Right. I hope you've enjoyed what you've... 
as you followed along during this process. Um, there will be more videos from Twangmeister, so if you want to subscribe, uh, like and subscribe, do all that kind of thing, please do. Um, David has kindly agreed for me to take one of his new songs that we're doing and do another little video series on the production of a song from start to finish. You'll get to see every part of the process of the recording. We won't go into massive detail on the mix process because we've already done that in this little series. So look out for that coming uh, shortly. Uh, apart from that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with a comparison. I'm going to play through the track and you're going to hear me cutting in and out between this mix and the unmixed version before I'd done any of this processing, and we'll see what I've done to the song, whether indeed I've made it sound any better or not. So thank you for joining me. My name's Dan Wesley. Uh, get in touch if you want to uh, uh, come along to Twangmeister Studios for recording purposes or the mixing uh, or mastering. Um, please get in touch. The details of the website, all that kind of thing, is below. Like and subscribe, like I say, and look out for more uh, stuff in the months to come. Thank you, and I will sign off by having a listen to this uh, little comparison. When I first saw her sitting there, I liked the way she looked. Like butter wouldn't matter. Six months down the line, she's messing with my mind, and causing me to have my doubts. Somebody stop me, oh, what have I done? I couldn't see the wood for the trees. I don't want no sympathy, it's all. time she drags me to that fancy restaurant I'm gonna order my oyster southern fries